Mr. President, obviously the news that is dominating Washington, D.C., and indeed the nation is the shutdown. Uh, yesterday I came on a colloquy with other colleagues, and both Democrat and Republican, asking that we find some middle way. The president clearly has moved. Uh, he has offered to reopen the government, I'm told, in order if, if only a down payment would be made to construct the wall, uh, um, and um, has come forward with a good faith effort. Uh, Ms. Pelosi, I ask that she as the speaker, who seems to be his chief negotiating partner, would do the same. I myself have two pieces of legislation that I'll be offering either today or Monday, one that will ease the burden upon those federal workers who are still working but not getting paid, and we thank them so much for doing so, as well as to come up with an alternative way to perhaps fund the wall. But, Mr. President, uh, with the seriousness of that, I also want to address one other issue which is particularly serious to folks in Louisiana. And I hope it doesn't seem out of place with the shutdown, but I can tell you to folks back home, it is something which continues to disturb them. Mr. President, I'd like to bring up the NFC championship game. The state of Louisiana is outraged because of what happened in the Superdome last Sunday. Televisions were broken, Super, Boy, Super Bowl boycott concert scheduled, billboards put up in Atlanta, fans lawsuits, fans filed lawsuits. Uh, my colleague in the House of Representatives is calling for the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to come testify in front of Congress on the travesty that occurred five days ago. What happened in my belief, and in the belief of many, was the most blatant and consequential blown call in NFL history. Now, for those who missed it, on Sunday night during the NFC Championship game, the score is tied with less than two minutes to go. It's third and long, and the Saints are in position to score. And Drew Brees throws a pass, which is right there. There's the ball. There's the receiver, and there's the defender. For those not familiar with football, and I know that the presiding officer played at University of Arkansas, not a bad school, even though it's not a Louisiana school, the defender is not looking back at the quarterback. He is not looking to intercept. He is only looking to plow through the receiver. Now, every drunk sitting on a stool in every bar throughout the nation looked up at that TV and said, there's interference. One thing you don't see from this picture, though, is there is also helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, which is also a penalty. It was a twofer. On one play, the Los Angeles Ram defender committed two egregious penalties. And everybody in the Superdome and everybody watching knew it happened, except for him, the referee. 